Hello, this is Hojun Chang. Uh, today I'm yeah, speaking in English. Okay, um, most of my uh, subscribers and uh, watchers of my YouTube video is a uh, Korean, but um, somehow I, I made um, many English videos for the uh, non Korean speaking persons. Okay, so. Um, yeah, I'm using the AR, the emoji. Mm -hmm. It's better, better looking. Mm -hmm. So, okay, today I'm. Uh, I like to talk about the envelope of the sound. Okay, yeah. Um, you, you may already know the what the envelope is like ADSR thing, right? Attack, decay, sustain, and release. So, all the uh, sound. As shape of the envelope that's what we have to think well uh, people you usually talk about the uh, envelope on the uh, two axes so the time axis and time x and also the uh, loudness level x so when you look at the uh, DAW uh, logic or uh, Pro Tools or Cubase or whatever yeah it only shows on the uh, time x and also the uh, loudness x so when you look at the uh, some kind of a uh, kick or a snare or some kind of wave there it just shows the um, the peak level on the uh, each time so but the thing is that when you um, like to do something with the sound you gotta know that uh, there is another axis uh, it is called the frequency axis so when you look at the uh, certain wave, you only see the uh, two axes, but there is one more. So, so we gotta think about the uh, the frequency range. So something is low, something is high, right? So when you think about the uh, kick drum, okay, there is a longer resonance on the uh, mid low and low, okay, and shorter resonance on the high. So. Uh, let's say uh, about 5k 5 kilohertz there's a beta sound right the, the beta sound okay. so it's a short really short envelope there so at the time will be about the same as a uh, low but um the sustain is a lot shorter than the uh, 100 Hertz or 60 Hertz or like even 200 Hertz there so you gotta think about all of those like millions of different envelopes of each frequency of that tone. Yeah, that's one thing that so many people m missing or uh, not talk about. So uh, you gotta think that when you listen the sound, when you analyzing the sound, you gotta think about those frequency axes and how the uh, actual envelope of each frequency looks like because uh, when you touch the uh, gate or compressor it certainly changed that envelope and it is just changing the uh, levels of each time pass but um uh, yeah sometimes you can shorten the uh, the low frequency side or yeah some of the things that actually changing the tone of the sound that's why the uh, people use compressor as a tone shaper or tone processor not just talk about the uh, level or loudness controller right so um, yeah the great engineers nowadays use compressor as a tone shape yeah, tone processor so they they pick their uh, compressors for the uh, each each way that they want to use each taste that they want to touch it's like LA to A for the uh, longer the attack time so it makes certain things and yeah like it's 1176 for the uh, shorter attack time to make uh, certain changes on the uh, dynamics so it changes a lot of envelope changes okay all of those things that you gotta remember when you uh, think about the uh, compressor 
as a tone shaper, not just a loudness con controller. Okay? Alright, uh, subscribe and press like and turn the alarm on. Okay, thank you for watching. This is Hojin Chang. Bye.